Welcome to e Know How. In this video, we will look at uh, discharging of the RC circuit that has already been charged, where the capacitor has already been charged. So let's uh, we looked at in another video where you actually connected an RC circuit um, and then closed a switch to a voltage source, a DC voltage source V, and saw that the the capacitor gets charged up to the voltage across the capacitor would be V and there would no, there'd be no current flowing through this. Now let's uh, assume that the switch S1 is opened up again and then we had another switch S2 which we will close now. So the S2 will be closed. So now we open the switch S1 and we close the switch S2 and our initial condition here is Vc of 0 is actually a DC voltage V which is across the capacitor right now. So the capacitor has been charged up. Now let's write the equation then there would be a current flowing through the circuit I of T. I didn't show the direction I showed the direction and this is the same. Let's look at um, we will assume the direction is the same we'll figure out what the direction is. So I of T flows like this. So now we if we sum up the the voltages in this loop, which is the, the loop that is closed right now, all the way across the switch S2. So it will be I of T multiplied by R plus Vc of T, and then there is no voltage in this loop, so which is zero. So now I of T can be written as um, C D Vc of T over dt and then you got the r plus vc of t is equal to 0. Now divide both sides by 1 over rc so we get d vc of t over dt plus 1 over rc vc of t is equal to 0. Now we saw that in this kind of differential equations where you find out and find an integrating factor and that would depend on this here. So the integrating factor for this is e power t over rc. So now what we do is we multiply both sides by the integrating factor. Anyway the other side is 0 so we multiply this so e power t over rc plus uh, oh, d v c of t over d t plus 1 over r c e power t over r c and then v c of t is equal to 0. So now we got v c of t here and then this whole thing is nothing but d or d by dt e power t over rc. You work this out, work this out and this would turn out to be 1 over rc e power t over rc. Now we got d v c of t over dt and then you got e power t over rc. So this is like a product differentiation. So this would can be simplified as d of dt e power t over rc multiplied by vc of t that is equal to 0. Now once we did this we integrate both sides with respect to dt that side is 0 so what we get here in this case is e power t over rc vc of t plus a constant k is equal to 0. So now we can write Vc of t is equal to minus k e power minus t over rc. So now let's go and substitute our initial conditions here. So or we could do it right here. So um, Vc of 0 
Vc of 0 is V here because the capacitor was charged. So Vc of 0 is V. So if you substitute this, V would be equal to minus K or K is or K is equal to minus V. So now we get Vc of t is V times it's minus K is V times e power minus t over RC. So this is the equation for the voltage across the capacitor when it is just discharging. So now we got Vc of t is V multiplied by e power minus t over RC, which means if you if you uh, plot this with respect to time, so initially it starts at it starts at the voltage V and starts discharging. So this is the that, that is the voltage across the capacitor. So while charging, if you if you looked at it, we it was charging to V and then it discharges from V to ground in a few time constants, it discharges exponentially. Now this let's look at the current flowing through the current flowing through the RC circuit. We we know that I of t is C d v c of t over d t. So which would be C d over d t v e power minus t over r c. So which would be C v minus 1 by r c e power minus T by RC. So which would turn out to be over R there will be a negative term minus sign minus V over R E power minus T by RC. So what it means is now I of T I of T is minus V over R e power minus t by rc so what what it means here is the current has actually reversed direction in this case so the current the vc of t is this it's discharging and then the current has reversed direction when it is discharging so it is not flowing into the capacitor from the top plate it's actually flowing backwards out of the capacitor into the resistor and discharging. So now if you actually plot the charging and discharging of this circuit both the current and voltage let's look at that together. So during charging the voltage is charging exponentially and then say at this point you turn the switch S2 the voltage discharges like this. The voltage goes up to V and this is your time axis. Now if you look at the current for this, so with respect to time, the charging current is positive. So you have a positive charging current, we saw that in the video, and it dies down to zero once the capacitor charges. It starts at V over R. This voltage starts at zero, goes to V, and goes back to zero again here. So whereas the current starts at V over R, and then goes to zero and then when it is discharging it actually goes to negative V over R and goes back to zero. So this is a minus V over R. So actually you can put together this circuit you can actually put a voltage source and two switches from the analog library and put an R and a C and and simulate it and look at the currents, the voltage across the capacitor and the current flowing into the capacitor. It would look exactly like this.